All right, Heidi. Hey, how are you? Doing good. So you've been our customer patient for a while now, since April 2020. And I believe you've been with us for about uh, five times now. And, uh, yeah, this is the fifth time. Okay, that's, and uh, I would like to start asking you, what is your experience coming down to the clinic, the timings, you know, the, the experience in the transportation to start, like the beginning of your procedure? Well, let me add real quick. I, I thought of stem cells because I had um, cirrhosis of the liver. It was I got sick when I had surgery, gallbladder removed, had a staph infection, almost died about six and a half years ago. And just been doing treatments, but they're more just the treatments in the U.S. They're not really treatments. They just kind of keep you going in the state you're in. So I thought, you know, what I've read up on stem cells, what it can do potentially, it would might help. So I started coming here. Um, but what I like about uh, this particular location is they pick you up anywhere pretty much in San Diego. And they drive you over the border and it's faster. They have the medical pass. And it's a simple IV, and they'll inject the stem cells um, along with a vitamin uh, combination of vitamins. And it doesn't take very long, and it seems to be working so far. And it's definitely better than getting a liver transplant. But Tell me uh, how much you feel that you've improved with the stem cells throughout this uh, year and a half. Well, during this time, I when I first started, I had a, what's called a MELT score. Okay, sorry. So I was at um, an 18 MELT score. And after a year and a half of getting the stem cells, I'm down to a... Uh, a nine, which is pretty, that's a pretty drastic improvement. Uh, your liver can heal itself if you let it. Now I combine it with, I didn't drink for a year and a half. Um, I, uh, I take milk thistle supplements. I tried to do a lot on the, you know, the nutritional side as well. And um, I'm getting to the point where I feel much better, although I still, I had a TIPS bypass, which some of you who are watching this may have heard of that, and that still gives me uh, some high ammonia buildup because it's bypassing your liver for like a third of my blood each time it goes around. But, uh, you know, eventually if I can even drop a little bit more, uh, and most of my blood tests are in the normal range now, which they were not before. Um, you know, I'd want to have them resize the tips and I might be in a good shape to just go on with a normal life instead of kind of moving off of, uh, you know, a lot of drugs that are very expensive, like Zyfax and I take. And I was taking uh, lactulose, but it would make me sick for hours after I took it. And I found that uh, drinking fruit juice and taking the Zyfax and worked better. So I switched to that in the last year. But that wouldn't have given me a big jump in my melt score. It, uh, so yeah, you feel healthier, the vitamins help. Uh, you're just kind of letting nature do its thing in a in its own way and it can find habitat in your body uh, but yeah they're very knowledgeable and polite pretty much all the staff speaks english or if you want to speak spanish you can do that too um yeah, so I've had a, I've had good luck. With it. It's definitely been worth the money. And Dean, you were telling me about how you you were in this uh, uh, transplant list. Yeah, uh, they were trying to get me on it, or I was a candidate to be put on it. And uh, basically, now I don't need to be 
on it anymore. And actually, they wouldn't even put me on it now because it, I'd be so low on the priority list to get an organ because my health is generally much better. That um, you know, it's a, that's a good thing. You know, that list. You don't want to. If you get a new liver, it, you have to take immunosuppressors for basically the rest of your life. So that opens you up to who knows what other diseases potentially. And uh, you know, sometimes those surgeries fail. And the average lifespan after you get those, it's not as great as, as you think. So I, I'm glad just to keep going with my rusty old liver. Yeah. And getting it fixed up, hopefully, with stem cells helping. But stem cells would be the main part of what I've changed and done the last year and a half. And will you continue to, to do the stem cell therapy for your liver? I'll try to. Um, if I get to a point where, you know, I just feel good, I, I'll, then it'll maybe be once a year. Um, but, uh, yeah, it has a lot of other benefits, too. So. Can you tell, tell me about the other benefits that you've seen on your health? Well, just little things, like uh, not as many aches and pains as I had before. Um, I, I don't know if it's the stem cells or not, but, you know, I just feel a little bit healthier. I still have a little ways to go in uh, my um, building up my uh, energy for the day, but that's, I think I can start taking some different vitamins that can help with that. But the best thing is I can get off of you know, drugs and things like that. Um, and so I'm not, uh, for one, don't have to pay the cost. For two, they usually have side effects. Whereas stem cells are you know, it's Everyone has stem cells. They're just increasing the amount that I have. All right, Dean. Well, I appreciate you uh, sharing with the, with us your experience coming um, to our stem cell clinic, and uh, we look forward to having you back soon. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.